Okay everybody, this is Brent in Central Arkansas. I'm going to do a video on how I am going to feed slash water all the Fawn 2 platforms and all the other platforms which are basically um, flow to waste, drip down. So I'll explain all that later. What I've got up here are my storage barrels. 250 gallons. There's five 55 gallon drums that are plumbed together. I'll show you that. There you go. I've got other videos on it if you haven't gone back in time and looked at any of those. But that's the main storage for all of uh, the water needs in the greenhouse. And I've got a hose that you can see here that feeds up into the top of the barrels. And that is supplied, let me take you on the other end of the greenhouse, it follows the floor here and it goes to the corner of the greenhouse over there and as, that, as the uh, water levels drop then I'll just turn on the house faucet, connect a hose and I'll fill that up. And that doesn't happen very often, that's 250 gallons. I've got a washer on here I can see it through the shade cloth and the shade cloths on there to keep the barrels cooler during the middle of the summer but once that washer gets all the way to the top I know it's empty the lower it is to the bottom here the fuller it is this distribution tank is the one for that feeds the heated greenhouse in there and it's I've showed this before but it's just basically a 55 gallon drum turned upside down and that's got regular nutrient now my nutrient, I moved them out here because I'm mixing them uh, for the super concentrate. And what I've got here is calcium nitrate and I've got a pre, this is a mouthwash cup, and I've got a predetermined amount right here of this line here. So basically all I do is I take this, I put it in a gallon container, take it in the house and I add warm to hot water. It mixes up really quick and and that's all that's needed for a 55 gallon drum the other one over here and i use this funnel to to put it into the milk jugs the other one over here is master blend and epsom salt that's what master blend looks like that is tomato formula 41838 and i get it from morgan county seeds I also get the calcium nitrate, which is calcinate, which what, that's what's on the bag. I get that from Morgan County Seeds. So I get both of those from Morgan County Seeds. But this is Master Blend 41838. A lot of people use this. It's a dry nutrient that mixes very well with water. I've used it for um, everything I do hydroponically uh, for four years now. now. The Epsom salt is just a bag I got from Walmart in the pharmacy section. That's magnesium sulfate, it just as you can read there, and that's what Epsom salt is. I've got pre-measured cups for each one of those as well. You can see here, Master Blend, and that one's Epsom salt. So when I'm doing these super concentrated um, mixes, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So the two nutrient um, types of containers that I'm using are the left side here that's the distribution tank that was over here for the fawn ones I'm repurposing I'm going to use it for the uh, flow to waste and that's got a regular blend of hydroponic nutrient in it in other words the correct amount it just gets pumped out from there directly into all these and other places outside these two tanks right here the two white ones those are super concentrated nutrient. I have the hose here that's uh, hooked up to the storage tanks above me here. There's 250 tanks of uh, gallons of uh, house water up there. And it's just gravity feeding into this bucket here. Now this is going to be the calcium nitrate, um, 55 gallon drum. And I'm going to make 800 gallons worth in one 55 gallon. So I'm super concentrating it. These gallon containers are just milk jugs, obviously. 
Um, the, each one of these has 200 gallons of concentrate into it. So I put four scoops in each one of these of calcium nitrate. I shook it up. I took these in the house first. I added hot, well, warm water. And I put it in there. Warm water helps it um, <laughs> dissolve. <laughs> My brain's not working too great. 200 going in. All right, you can see that thing puts a lot of force. That will turn some water and it will surely mix it. Another question I get asked quite a bit is, how long is that gonna last? Well, that, that depends on how much the plants are transpiring and, and the age of the plant. The bigger they are, they're fruiting, it's hot, they're just gonna blow through water, um, a lot of water. And so I'll be mixing this more often. But at the height of, of summer, last summer, the most I mixed the concentrate in at this level was once a month and it's on a timer. So I never had to worry about it. It was always automatic. All I had to do was put a PPM monitor in there every once in a while, not in there, but in the fawns, check the PPM ratios, all that, uh, and then go with it like that. And I never, ever, ever changed out the overall system water, which goes against a lot of um, what you'll see a lot of hydroponic people do, but I've never had an issue with it running about between six and 800 PPMs. I usually try to keep it about 700, 750 actually uh, during the height of seasons, but I've never had any problems with it. And all it does is as the plants use the nutrient, it's just constantly mixed amongst all of the platforms. Once it's full of mix, I put a piece of greenhouse plastic on this particular one. And I put the slats back here so it can be used as a shelf easy to move and uh, check on the level now the master blend and Epsom salts filled 800 gallons worth from each one of these concentrated nutrient tanks calcium nitrate master blend and Epsom salt I've got two lines that are coming out of each one from the pump and I've got them going up here into a PVC that's loosely fitted here and um, what's going to happen with that is this is going to go into a net cup cutout where it's going to fill into this first fawn here. So what we need to do now is we need to measure one minute's worth of nutrient and see how much calcium nitrate it puts in a cup and then we'll do it with master blend. All right, the left plugs in for the calcium nitrate. Let's set a timer for one minute for it. Let's see how much it produces. Okay, it's done here and it looks like it's to the bottom of the sec second circle. All right, I had to tinker around with it for about 10 minutes, but I think I got it. I think it's important to show the ins and outs and how you figure stuff out uh, because I think anybody can do it and you, you just got to fiddle with things sometimes. Now the bottom of where it says brand products, that's where it should stop right at there. That's where the calcium nitrate stopped before. And, uh, I ran it and it did because I was tinkering with it back and forth to get it where I needed it and I ran it before this part that you're looking at and it was just below or right at the bottom of that circle and hopefully it'll consistently stop there again while you're watching all right I heard it click off it's not running and there we are at the bottom of the circle so that's roughly where I need it 
Now, there could be any number of reasons why these pump, why this pump isn't pumping the same. It's the same pump, a 396. Why it's not pumping the exact same amount of calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate slash Epsom salt. It could be the thickness of the fluid. It could be uh, variations in the pump design, maybe just ever so slightly. It could be restrictions in the lines at different places. None of that really matters overall. All I'm doing now is compensating. Let's test it and see. When I know it's at this line on the inside and it's not at the same line on the other side, then I'll run the other tank, I'll run the other tank uh, into the Fawn 2 to get it evened out. And then when it cycles a couple times, it'll all be evened out. But there's so much water in the Fawn 2s that these don't make huge changes in the overall PPMs or the amount of nutrient. I've never noticed any issues with it anyway. Now that we can got it where we want it, let's find out how much is in there. These are 16 ounce cups. That's about 16. And I'd say that's probably two ounces. So we got about 18. Each one minute tick on the clock puts out about 18 ounces of uh, nutrient. 18 ounces of Master Blend slash Epsom salt combo and 18 ounces of calcium nitrate. So there you go. I've put the handle back in the storage position and now we need to finish up the Fawn 2s. Did you know you can subscribe to me? Check it out. Click right here on the subscribe button. See that? It's got a little check next to it. If you click on the little bell to the right of it, it'll bring up a little notification that says send me all notifications for the channel every time I make a video. Click save. You'll get an email notification that I have made a new video. This is for those who don't know. Thanks for watching. You guys take care.